This is a presentation of DSP Media. Big Red is here. It is hour two of the Drunk Sports Podcast, live from Tailgaters in Plano. We have all of the fun, all of the people here, 65 cent wings, all of the adult beverages anybody can drink, according to the law. Uh, I just met a couple of fans over here at the bar that I did not get their names, and I apologize, but they are big fans of the show. They're here every week, and they are hanging out with us tonight, having a good time. Uh, uh, the One of the girls said that she listens to the ticket. Oh. She listens to this. I didn't get y'all's names. I'm very sorry. But she listens to the ticket. Hmm. Uh, and then the gentleman with her said that he tried to get her to listen to the fan, but he could not. So for whatever reason, that did not work out. But, hey, we love both of you guys. We appreciate y'all being here tonight and every week. Uh, whatever your sports rate. Hey, I have a hat right here. Uh, whatever your sports radio function, your interest is, we're not any of that. We are just the Drunk Sports Podcast, and we love you guys for being here. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different, Big Red, uh, this week. We're not doing the top nine at nine as our – during football season, our segment numbers have shrunk. So I didn't want, I didn't want to exclude brackets uh, from the recipe. All right. I thought we, it would be fun to go brackets. And I'm going to even throw you guys more of a curveball with the brackets. All right. As we are doing brackets, potatoes. The hell is a potato bracket? And, well, it's from Ireland. By are the way, that's what's a potato? That's, that's Christy and Phil. Christy and Phil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. I appreciate you guys so much. We do as a show. Uh, no, I thought we would do the best way to cook a potato. All right. For a bracket. So this is the Irish bracket. Good day, mate. No, it's not. No, oh, no. it's not. <sighs> the, or the what, famine that's bracket. Not Irish? That's Could it, be the uh, famine bracket. The famine. Bracket. Irish potato famine. I feel like I did a report on that in school. Yeah. Probably did. I really, I really need another drink. And I don't get time to get well, I, I, you know, drink all that you want. Just don't be a Henry Ruggs. Wow. Dude, we're getting into that. Can you just time out for a second? Yeah. All right. Jo- wow. All right, John Carpet. What huh? happened? Huh? Who? What? Uh John, I think I feel like he dated my girlfriend before me. Right. Because he's the one that laid the carpet. He's a muncher. Oh, hey. Okay. That, there we you, go again. You I, just, le- I don't you, went too far. You left out the door, went and played on the swings, and came back. That's how far you went. Did I go too far? Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. What's what's? Hey, uh, can I get one of those? Oh my god! All right, so Got potato awesome. bracket. All right, crap. All right, the best the way show. to cook a potato. Sorry, I was trying to order a drink, and I don't remember her name, and I feel bad for not remembering her name, and she's looking at me as I'm saying it right now, and I feel terrible. But yeah, you're on the speaker, so dumbass. She can hear me? Yeah. Oh, that's what happens. I'm sorry. I love you. I, no. I'm sorry it's been four months since you've been here on a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. my fault. Potatoes. <laughs> so, boys, we have one through cook. 16. This is a single single elimination bracket. Is 16 right? ways to cook a potato? I mean, oh, there's yeah. way more. I had to narrow it down. Yeah, there's, oh. there's quite a few. Uh, there's more than one way to cook a potato, Big Red. Yep. Oh, is that the same? There's one. Way, there's more than uh, one way to skin a cat too. Oh, I don't do that. I hate cats, but I don't know that I would ever skin one. Uh, as we get some production value going. All right, boys. The one versus the sixteen seed. We start with mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. mashed or cheese fries. Whoa, we're adding other elements. Oh yes, yes. The I said to cook the potato. Yeah. So these are includes dishes. Okay. All right. We're going all out. Thank you so much. I think she's mad at me, Colby. I would be too. I would be oh, too. She looked at me. Holler at me from across the bar and say, "Hey, bring Sorry. me a drink. Hey, What's bring me name? a drink." She could have told bring me a drink. Here. All right. Oh, so- she said no. Oh, I feel bad. All right, mashed or cheese, cheese fries are fries. one in sixteen seeds. One in sixteen. Yep, which tells you how bad are the other seeds. <laughs> So this number one is is mashed. Mm-hmm. 
All right. See, do you want me to run down some of the other? No, 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 no. We got to do this one first. That's how brackets work. I don't know how bracket. We've never done this before. All right. So it's mashed potatoes versus or cheese, cheese fries. fries. Cheese fries are good. Cheese on, fries are the 16 seed in this, Colby. Are, are are good for on their own, ready to rock and roll. You got cheese, you got fries. And we're just talking cheese, no bacon, no sour cream, no chives. We're just talking cheese fries. And you just left the mashed potatoes as mashed potatoes, not yep. mashed potatoes and gravy, nope. not anything else. By themselves. Just, the one seed is mashed. Well, then it's cheese fries. Oh, no. yes. I, I, I mean, on their right. own. I mean, we're talking like garlic salt. No, no, you're not. In the mashed no. potatoes. No. That's how I cook them. No. no, you said mashed potatoes. They're just mashed potatoes. Wow. I did not see this playing out this way. Well, maybe you should have consulted the uh, the uh, uh, playoff. We don't have one of those to get uh, to get these seedings because so we have they, the. They pretty much no, these aren't up, my too. seedings. I did not. Okay, once again, these aren't my seedings. All right. Because I would never do that for fear of embarrassment and now, ridicule. And so if you're like mashed potatoes and gravy, or if you said fully loaded mashed potatoes nope. with, with a ranch gravy, potatoes. then I'm then I'm in. Our two seed versus the 15 seed. One seed is waffled fries. <laughs> Gross. Versus the 15 seed hash browns. It's hash browns all day long. All day long. Big Red. Hash browns. How did I know that was going to happen? Because waffle fries are stupid. Don't tell that to Chick-fil-A. I mean, they're, they never, they made a living off of it. They made a living off their chicken. They're, if they'd had regular fries, they'd have been fine. Number three seed versus the 14 seed, potato salad or tater tots? Ooh, this is a good one. Oh, oh. Tater tots cheese. Uh, no, he just said tater salad. They, 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 or tater tots. You know what? I gotta go. I gotta. I love tater tots, but I I gotta go tater salad. Colby likes tater salad, Big Red. Yeah, yeah you can't have uh, barbecue without potato salad. All right, we're going. Wow, the three seed wins. I, I mean, if you were to say like tater tots with cheese or anything yeah, along that it's line, just tater tots. If it's you just said, tater tots, you could have said tachos. You could have said tachos. I, I mean, don't even know what that means. Man, that you've never had tachos. Maybe, but I don't know what that is. It's it's basically <laughs> fully loaded nachos, but replaced the chips with tater tots, and you eat it with a fork. Well, yeah, everybody's had that. That's what I'm talking to, beat. <laughs> it's hard damn work being The so four cooler. seed yeah. versus the 13 seed baked potatoes. Okay. Versus what I would have had as the number probably two seed on my personal list. Uh-huh. Poutine! Oh, poutine all day long. Big Red. Well, yeah, I'm going to go with poutine over a plain-ass baked potato. Just a... Yeah, poutine. Wow. Did not think you... I thought y'all were going to make fun of me for bringing up a Canadian dish. It's gravy, cheese curds, and french fries. What What's could go wrong? Fresh? What's not... Yeah. The number five versus the number 12, roasted potatoes or french fries? French fries. French fries. Have you had roasted potatoes? Yes. You you just cover them a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of uh, uh a little herbs bit of thyme, and, yeah, Recipe. a little bit of herbs, and you throw them in the because you didn't have any time to make any, any other potatoes. So thyme with a oven. thyme. All right, yeah, French, French fries, fries wins. The six versus the eleven grilled potatoes versus steak cut potatoes, also known as French fries. Yes, there are variations of French fries. I, I the know list. there are. I know there are. And what was the other one? Grilled potatoes. Grilled so you're talking potatoes. about like, uh, like grilled potatoes. You I mean, cook them on the grill, Lance, like you barbecue everything. Grilled potatoes. Yeah, okay, I, you know, I want to say grilled potatoes because steak fries are the worst. You fries don't like steak that, fries that have ever no. been invented. Uh, Why? No. They're too thick. Uh, I love you don't like the thickness. I love shoestring. I love. I love. I love you, the Colby? shoestring fries where you like take like eight of them as one fry. And okay, shoestrings just... are coming up. All right. Well, uh, steak fry because a grilled potato just sounds like you gave up. So steaks too thick for you to take all at once. Is that what you're trying to say? No, you can never get that crispy. It's just ends up just it's one crispy big on the outside. It's just one big floppy potato That's noodle. What she said, "Big red grilled or steak cut." 
Uh, I, I don't know that I've ever had grilled potatoes, so let's just go oh, steak cut. All right, all right. Steak cut moves on. All Gretton potatoes. Mm. Money. One yep. of my personal favorites. Or, as Colby just mentioned, shoestring french fries. I had shoestring french fries. All Gratton potatoes. Tim, oh, so I have to be the tiebreaker for the first time on the list? <laughs> you get to be. You get to vote. <laughs> I, I have a vote. I can't. I don't even want to be on a bracket where steak fries win win a position and shoestrings. Do you do know not. what all gratin potatoes are? Yeah, it's full of cheese. Yeah, it's full of goodness. Yes, it's full of America. It's but the shoestring French fry is my favorite French fry. Well, truth be told, uh, tater tots are my kind of favorite. Wait for it, Lance. I did not make it. We already went over that. No. All right, you know what? Colby convinced me. I was going au gratin, but he just convinced me that you're so better. weak. So weak. I'm high right now. <laughs> high as gas prices? As high as that's, gas prices. And high. the final matchup in the first round. Potato skins as the six, as the nine seed, or scalloped potatoes as the eight seed. Well, that's the same thing. As yeah, what's the gratin. difference in scallop, scallop and all gratin? See, I knew, I knew, I knew y'all were going to bring this up. Scalloped potatoes and potatoes all gratin are not the same thing. They never have been. They always oh. have been. Oh, no, so, no, no, what? No. So now, now you're a, a certified chef or something? Well, no, because I read the list the way it oh. described them. Okay, so somebody's making so scalloped you, potatoes. With I just, told y'all it's not my list. Okay, hold on. So somebody on this stupid list is making scalloped potatoes with just butter and garlic and left out the cheese. Nope, that's not the – no. Because, they all have – they both have cheese. Okay, well then – Scalloped potatoes have a, have a garlic sauce that goes with it. That's right. what differentiates them from scalloped potatoes. So they don't put garlic in their in their au gratin potatoes? No. Okay, that's well then, they're au gratin, then their au gratin potatoes are wrong. Scalloped, by the way, scalloped potatoes win this one over potato skins. Yeah, because you, right? you didn't say fully loaded potato skins. No, you just said potato skins. Yep, potato skins. Yeah, then we're going with scallop because the, the, uh, just wow. a plain ass freaking potato skin is not. But that's how some people order it. Plain? No, no one ever done that. Potato skin? Yes. You no one has ever done that. You would never sell those in a bar. With just potato and skin. No cheese, no bacon bits. Yes, no people else. do that all the time. No, they don't. There's not a person on Jeb, the Jeb orders them and orders extra sour cream. Well, Jeb, Jeb's not here right now. Oh, he's not. Hey, don't talk to him about sour cream right now. He probably, it's not probably going to go well. No, no. Who's dancing in front of the table? He's in, he's. Your mom. Oh, Damn. <laughs> So we, here's what we have going into the second round. We have a 16 seed, uh-huh. a 12 seed versus a 10 seed. Uh-huh. We have a 11 versus a third and a fifth. Oh, my God. All the low seeds are winning here. Well, yeah, because the high seeds were All stupid. Right. Boys, 16 cheese fries uh-huh. versus the three potato salad. Ooh. <laughs> Ziggy Wilf, baby. Ziggy Wilf. He should own the Cowboys. You, you know, ooh. Man, I, I Give love me the a good potato, potato salad. salad. Yeah, I love Give a good me the potato, potato salad. salad. You're going potato salad? I'm going potato salad. I'll make that decision for you. I still didn't make my decision for yeah, you. How are you making it for him? <sighs> I, I'm, I think I got to go with the cheese fries. I mean, well, I love saying, potato salad. I but figured you'd go the other way and then make Tim do it, and then we can make fun of Tim for making the wrong decision. That's how this shit works, Colby. I I, I got it now. Sorry, I I, I left out for a nope, second. No, Colby already went cheese fries. I'm also going cheese fries. You lose, Col- you lose, Lance. The 16 seed has made it to the third round. Well, I mean, it's cheese fries. French fries or shoestring French fries? It's shoestring French fries. The 12 versus the 10. It's, it's, I mean, your regular fry is good, but you get more fries in the shoestring fries. You get more, based more on crispy, what? More crispiness, more salt. Give me the shoestring french fries for the win. Damn right. Base, wait. No, I agree, but I want to know Colby's thoughts on that. Why do you get more french fries? Because you get more french fries in your hand. But 
doesn't the equal amount of like fries fill you up the same way? No, no, no. Here's here's a, a, a Big Red described it correct. The shoestring French fry, when you grab the same amount of fries in shoestring form as you would regular French fry, you get more crispy edges, you get more of the seasoning, right. you get more of the flavor and All the right. greatness. I don't disagree. I like shoestring fries. Uh, by the way, the best shoestring fries I've ever had, I believe, is at a place that I've eaten maybe twice in my life. Steak and Shake? Steak and Shake's got good ones. Right? Steak and Shake to, has good used, ones, but the best uh, shoestring used to be McDonald's. They used, never they totally had shoestring fries. Right. They, they, yeah. No, those weren't shoestring fries. Um, they were tiny fries. Check out Freddy's. What is Freddy's? Freddy's, uh, Freddy's, Freddy's Custard. Yes, their shoestring French fries. Freddie got fingered? Freddie's uh, shoestring French fries are Freddy's girlfriend awesome. may have. I don't even know what that is. All right. Uh, scallop potatoes versus steak cut French fries. Scallop. Scallop. Get, Get the F out of here, steak fry. You don't belong here. Steak fries out of here. The eight seeds. Scallops. I don't know. How the hell they made it through? Your mom. Oh. Man, I feel bad saying that now because I love your mom. I mean, I loved her before, but now I've actually talked to her. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the 13 versus the 15. Hash Browns as the 15 versus Putan as the 13. It's Putin. It's all Putan. No, it's Putin. Putin when I lived in Montreal. In uh, America, it's poutine, I guess. I don't yeah, know. You're, where you're I'm called it poutine. It's, where are you at right now? Where am I at right now? America. What year is this? Yeah. America. All right, Big Red. Poutine, poutine. What would you say? Poutine. Poutine or poutine. 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 Oh, man, good. I don't have to even go there. It's poutine. All right, we're down to the final four. Cheese fries versus shoestring fries. Scallop potatoes versus poutine. We go 16 seed versus the 10 seed. Cheese fries versus shoestring fries. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's I, I gotta go, I gotta go cheese fry. Now give me give me shoestring. Oh Jesus. You're gonna make me make another. This is the second time I've had to make a call. You know no, what? Like this one, one. I'm, I'm cool with either one that comes out of your mouth. So <sighs> but it'll Going still be string. stupid. Go on shoestring. I don't know which one of y'all picked what, but I'm going to choose drink. Good for you. I do love, like you said, I love the cr just crunchy. You can grab a handful. Yeah. You can even like form them out on your plate and then grab them like like that so that they're all sticking out. Dip them in your ketchup mm -hmm. or your mayonnaise, whatever you like to dip them in. I prefer the mayonnaise. And then you just. Wow, you would actually then like a French fry sauce. From? Freddy's. Oh. Is it mayonnaise? Well, it's 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 mayo a, chip. Yeah, it's a mayo chip situation Dude, I love going me on. Some mayo chip. A uh, moving version. on is shoestring fries as the ten seed, and then we have the eight scallop potatoes versus the thirteen seed poutine. Dude, this is hard for me because I love both. Uh, I got a poutine. I gotta go poutine. Scallop. <laughs> Big Red, why are you doing that? Because I can. You're doing that on, and you know what I'm going to pick. Because I can. You know what I'm going to pick. No, I, you don't. You, you, you haven't you haven't gone with me the whole time. You've gone with Colby every time. So go ahead. That's fine. Okay, poutine is a traditionally Canadian dish. Well, we're not in Canada. So where sir. am I going here? I am from the country of Canada. You're not Canadian. I'm not. No. I feel like I'm from Canada. You're sure not. I'm going 13 C boys and poutine. All right, then. I mean, it's gravy and cheese curds and fries. Because you can't go wrong there. I mean. And the original poutine that I had when I was in Quebec. Dude, it's way different from anything I've ever had down here. I mean, what I've had down here is good. But, dude, right. up there, holy mother of God. I wanted to have sex with that food. I'm going to say I might have had sex with a couple of those dishes a couple times. Okay. All right, that's fine. Might have made babies. Boys, which brings us to the finals. Are you ready for this? Yes. Number 10, shoestring fries hmm. versus, versus number 13, poutine. 
God, I hope y'all agree because I really don't want to have to make a choice here. Now, I will say that my favorite version of what I imagine poutine is. Okay. What I've made. Involves, Wait, you made poutine? Yes, involves the shoestring fry. Okay. Well, yeah, you, you got to. You could be able to make them crispy with the gravy. Yeah, exactly, and hold up. So right. I'm I'm going to take poutine because it's involves for me the shoestring fry anyway. Okay. And I guess that's probably allowed. Again, not my list. Mm-hmm. Big red. Give me the shoestring fries. <sighs> Which make means you, you know decision. what I'm going with. I, it's fine. I'm just gonna make you. I'm gonna make you say it out loud. Big red. Do you guys have poutine in the big red bar and grill? Nope. In Monroe City, Missouri. Why not? We don't yet. Why? I'm going to figure it out. Do you have what kind of fries do y'all serve up there? Do you do shoestring fries? We have shoestring fries. We have seasoned fries. And uh, there's another one. You have waffle fries? Dude, no, no, shut up. Nobody likes those. Dude, I love waffle fries. Waffle fries are terrible. (gasps) Your mom's terrible. No, well, kind of. I'm sorry, Elaine. Um, So, Lance, real quick. He said kind of. Lance. (laughs) Real quick, here's what you do. Here's the dish you put out there. You hook up, you hook up some pulled pork with the cheese curds, and then with I I, I don't know. I, I'd almost instead of going with your beef stock normal gravy, I think because the pork maybe you go with a little bit more of a chicken gravy and the sweet pork with the chicken gravy and the cheese curds, and then put some green onions on top of that. Ugh! Pulled pork uh, doesn't belong on any dish. So could you could you do poutine with fried cheese curds? You can do whatever you want. This is America. Oh yeah. No, I've had that before actually here in Dallas. There's there's places that serve it with fried cheese curds. I'd do it with the pulled pork. Well, I may do it this weekend for the game. I don't like pork. Right. Wait, what game? The cowboy game. Well, there's no Cowboys fans in Monroe City. I thought you meant the Kansas City oh, yeah, there game are. where they're going to lose again. <sighs> hey, oh, yeah, the, Green yeah, Bay P- Fudge Packers in Kansas City that we're about to get into right now. Wait, what did you say about pulled pork? I don't like pulled pork. I like Kim pork. Doesn't... No, I like pork. Okay, look, it's a texture thing. I don't like shredded chicken. I don't like shredded beef. I don't like pulled pork. I love pork. I love barbecue pork. I just want a hunk of pork. I don't. I don't like the shredded... How the, sorry, how, sorry, Kobe. How have we remained I friends with him for? I, I don't. Nobody's life. friends with me. I, I don't have know. friends. I don't know what you're talking to be. As more and more times, I, I think to myself, "The fuck's a Tim?" I don't like pulled pork. I don't like shredded beef. I don't like shredded chicken. I will not touch shit that's got any of that in it. Although I'm sure it tastes good. I would rather have a chicken breast. I would rather have ground yeah, beef. Yeah, but not on I, your fry. What? Now I'm talking. I'm setting up a poutine dish with I know. meat. Okay. Yes. I don't need it to be shredded. You you want just the whole pork chop on top of it? Diced. Diced. Yeah, that'll work well in a fork. Something other than. So there's your top uh, nine at nine uh, no, that we threw top in. Nine at nine. It was we threw all. in. Okay, look, we're limited on our segments right now during football season. In lieu of your top nine at nine, there's your bracketology. How you like that? 